Love it, love it, love it. Welcome to another episode of Healthy Eating That Feels Like Cheating, where I will teach you how to make healthy Mexican food recipes that you can easily prepare at home. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to cook a healthy Mexican quinoa. It is a gluten-free meal. It is a vegan quinoa and it is like full of flavors and nutrients that are amazing for you. Some of the key properties for this dish is going to be very high properties for reducing inflammation, which is going to keep you healthy. It's going to have uh, lots of nutrients that will boost your immune system. It will have detox power, which is very good to stay healthy and fit. You can, you can lose weight and fat unless you have a cleaner uh, body with lower toxic burden in your cells. The more toxins you store in your cells, the more fat you store and the more difficult it will be to lose that weight. It's a recipe that is also good for weight loss if you're trying to achieve a healthy weight because it is gonna satisfy obviously your taste buds but it's also, and your cravings, it's also gonna be good to control your appetite, to boost your metabolism. And it also has a variety of uh, nutrients that are very supportive of your uh, bone health. Quinoa specifically has some very important minerals that are necessary for bone health and then we also have the green onions which provide you with lots of uh, support for your bone health. They have very high levels of vitamin K and other nutrients that are good for protecting against cancer. In general, uh, this is a recipe you don't want to miss. If today we're going to do the, the quinoa bowl, but you can also add some other vegetables and make it even more exciting. So are you guys ready to uh, get to know the ingredients? a dish that is just like loaded with plant-based protein and that's what I like I, I love I do eat like some animals but I try to like maximize the plants I eat and I always pay attention to maintaining good amounts of protein because protein allows you to keep a lean body mass it also makes your metabolism faster protein also keeps you satisfied between meals and helps you reduce your cravings if you're having like uncontrollable cravings for unhealthy foods try uh, looking at the amount of protein you're having because of that I and I don't want to eat animal protein all the time I, I like to find things that are gonna boost my protein intake through plants and today I'm gonna offer you the the quinoa which is a complete protein which means the protein in quinoa it has all the essential amino acids so you are completely protected with when you're eating quinoa 
I'm also going to be complementing the dish. I'm going to serve it with some nuts, which are also good sources of healthy fats and plant-based protein. And so in addition to this, which is our main, uh, our main player, we're going to have some onions, great for your gut. We're going to have cilantro. We have our like our, my favorite peppers, you know I like peppers a lot. Now if you're going to cook for your family, they don't need uh, hot peppers, you can cook, you know, separate a portion without them. We're going to use some lime. Uh, we need organic lime if you're going to be using the zest. If you, if you don't have organic limes, then don't use the zest because you don't want to be taking the zest of a fruit that is probably has a lot of pesticide residues. And then we're gonna be using, we're gonna be cooking the quinoa with um, vegetable broth. You can do it at home, but I don't have it um, made at home. And I, I chose this organic and low sodium. Uh, I just buy it at any regular store and I have some olive oil. And as far as my utensils, I have my Dutch oven by Le Creuset. I love this. I mean, this is just so convenient. You can cook just anything and go from the stove to the oven. It's just amazing. And then we're going to need our measuring cups. I use a lot of these silicon made uh, cups. Uh, I love them because you can stack them. I have in a variety of sizes and they're just so easy to clean. They have uh, measurements for teaspoons, tablespoons, ounces, the little ones, and then these ones for liters, millimeters, half ounces. I have some good knives and a spatula. So are you guys ready to uh, help me prepare this meal? The only secret is that the surface you do it has to be dry. So here you go. We need the green parts of the green onion. I'm going to leave um, the seeds and everything because I, I don't mind the spice but if you if you want something less spicy you need to take out the seeds. You suffer from cravings Hot pepper, spicy food is something that can really work to help mitigate those cravings and boost your metabolism and reduce your appetite. Medium heat. I love to put next to the pot is this so I don't mess up the stove and I can put the spatula there. The quinoa is important that you um, rinse it before because otherwise one of the proteins can give it a bitter taste. So if you rinse it over a strainer, it should be good. Now that it's boiling, let's bring the heat down to lo as low as possible so it stays on a simmer and then we're gonna cover it. Stir it one more time before covering and that's about it. We'll let the quinoa absorb all the vegetable broth and the nutrients from our other vegetables. So 20 minutes. So we're ready, uh, it's 20 minutes and I, we're gonna check if, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's all absorbed and fluffy. as you like. I love a lot of lime, so I may add more than one, but the recipe calls for at least one. The top part of the green onions. If you follow the recipe, you may have less green onions, but remember I had more and I just wanted, I just really like it. I put a lot more cilantro and onions. We have had some salt. Let's 
this food. My favorite. It's also very Mexican. Mm. Pumpkin seeds. This is gonna add up even more protein and healthy fats. But you, I had some choices. You could do the other nuts. And I think we're good to go. Yeah. of the episode, the time where I get to taste. I hope you see how easy it was to prepare a nutrient-dense, vegan, gluten-free, plant-based, immune-boosting, bone health. I mean, it has just so many things. I could go on and on and on, but let's cut to the chase and just taste it. Love it, love it, love it. This really has a kick, and I could even use more lime. If you know me, you know most Mexicans, we eat a lot of lime or lemon, love it. But anyway, these are one lime, and it's enough. It's very, it has, like my daughter says, a kick, which means um, it just has like a little, not very spicy, but just something that we like, mmm, it's just great. But remember, it also has a kick for viruses, bacteria and all the, um, the negative things in your, in your uh, body, like toxins and unhealthy bacteria, etc. This has everything you need to stay healthy, happy, and fit. I hope you liked this episode, and don't forget if you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to my channel so you can stay on top of all the new videos that will be coming up on healthy eating that feels like cheating. Until next time. Mwah.